Hello, Jesse Good here, and today I'm counting down the 10 LEGO Summer 2017 sets that I want the most, but only the ones that come out in the early summer in the United States, so June and July sets. So no August releases like the LEGO Ninjago movie, Thor Ragnarok, and Justice League sets, and some retail exclusives and such. Also this list may be shorter than the other most wanted list because there's not really any amazing sets this time frame. Anyways, let's get into this. Starting off the list is the LEGO City bus stop set, which is more of my favorite things from LEGO City, the civilian based stuff. This one sees the return of the wheelchair, which is nice, though I wish it was in a new color. I'm glad the bus is yellow, which I think is the best color for buses, and the last two buses weren't that color. I also love the modifications they gave this bus to accommodate the girl in the wheelchair, which gives this bus a unique plus over the last few. Then the newsstand and bus stops both have decent builds with some great stickers for advertisements and signs. For 50 bucks, I won't mind buying this one to expand my currently non-existent LEGO City display. You all know I like getting the Creator House sets, and this summer they went all out with three. Either way, the only one that makes the list is the modular Modern House, which is 30 bucks. Getting modern homes is something that rarely ever comes in LEGO, but when they do, I love them. I mean, the 2010 City House is one of my favorite LEGO sets of all time. Either way, this one looks quaint. It's much smaller, but I like the modern aesthetic. From the mix of the mason bricks to the see-through windows slash walls on both floors and even a skylight roof window. There's some weird parts of the set, like the brick built doggy, but either way, the main build itself looks great. And the other two builds have some nice cool parts to them, like the top one's pond and rectangular design, and the bottom one's gnome and triangular hinged roof. Look, my soldier is kicking in for the 8th spot. I had the OG Vader transformation set from 2005 which I got on release and I played with that one for days on end. The transformation feature was mind blowing to me, thus I feel obliged to get this one. I mean it's pretty awesome to finally have a cheap way to get the updated Vader at the price of 25 bucks. The damaged Anakin looks creepy in a good way as well, and I'll finally be able to get the complete updated Palpatine who also looks creepy. The only thing is this set is very dull in colors. And while it is accurate, that just makes me want it a little less. Still, I like the effort LEGO has recently been putting in to release more Star Wars playsets, even if they're 25 bucks. Man, orange is one of my favorite colors, thus the sleek McLaren 720S caught my eye since its reveal. I think its release is interesting. I mean, it's the only Speed Champion summer set ever, and the reason the release is later than the other Speed Champions 2017 sets is because this is based on a new car that was launched after the Speed Champion Spring Wave. It's almost like a set spoiling a movie that is released after the main wave, like last year's Tanker Truck Takedown. Anyways, again, sleek is what describes this in most vehicles in the $15 Speed Champion sets. I mean, I don't like it more than the Bugatti, but I think the front design of the 720S may be better. I like the indents up front especially. The new wheel trims look great as well, capturing the essence of the actual car. And the research area gives a nice switch up from the typical raceway setting. I really like that stickered 720S concept sketch. Overall, for a mere $15, this one will be hard to pass up. So look, the First Order Battle Pack is the only LEGO Star Wars Battle Pack on this list. No Zuckus minifigure is in the Bounty Hunter Battle Pack despite early rumors, and that makes that set barely miss the list. The reason this one makes the list is because I have a little Star Wars The Force Awakens display, so I can take all the First Order Storm and Flame Troopers I can take. I love the Riot-like shield on who might be TR, AR, or 9s, or FN21, whatever his name is. And the blue outfit for the First Order Officer looks sweet. Overall, it's a nice buy, even for the new $15 price on these battle packs. Alright, alright. As I said, this list doesn't have the most extravagant sets, and I would say that is a good title for the Bane Toxic Truck Attack. But man, I love the Big Fig Bane. I mean, come on, he's actually a big guy this time. For once. The Mutant Leader looks dope as well. I love getting another buff torso and the face is a little freaky. But I have to admit, this is most definitely the weakest build of the list. I mean, it's sad when your small throwaway Batman vehicle is more memorable than the main vehicle. That bat gyrocopter is just too wacky in a good way, where it reminds me of the Fright Night sub theme. Look, thankfully this set is only 50 bucks and not 60 like the Two Face set. I mean, that one has a more interesting build, but this one has a better minifigures and better price. You know the cheap license sets are usually what I buy, so the new Scarecrow Fearful Harvest set from the LEGO Batman movie line takes the fourth spot. That new Scarecrow minifigure is the best yet. 
And I thought the one from 2016 was incredible, even though I never got it. And for Batman, it's nice to see a return of the spread Batman wing piece and the printed belt on the torso. I think it's funny to see that used in a Lego Batman movie set. The actual build for Scarecrow is a nice compliment as well. Better than the Bane vehicle, despite a small size. The extra add-on power plant is nice, but nothing too special. Just a nice little $15 license set. My third most wanted LEGO set is the Beware of the Vulture set, which retails for 40 bucks in the United States. Look, I love that new Vulture minifigure. I like when they reuse very unique molds with weird prints, and that's what they do with the, his helmet. Adding to that, the wing build is detailed with the use of the Nexo shields that gave it a fresh take despite us getting a Vulture minifigure last year with the same face print. You get a new Iron Man here, it's a new version that's fine, but I don't like that face underneath, it's just a clear head. It's no big deal though, since I have a lot of Tony Stark faces. Spider-Man is a nice update of the Civil War version to fit the movie, but he also comes in the smaller set. We'll get to that one later. For some reason, I really like the Shocker torso, the rest is whatever. Usually these superhero trucks are bland and forgettable, but the white van here is actually a strong and interesting build. It looks creepy in a way. The runner up on the list is the ATM Heist Battle set, the second Spider-Man Homecoming set. Look, as you can tell from my previous list, I like the buildings even if they're small. Thus, I actually like the bank in the set quite a bit, and I'm glad they packed it into a $20 size. The minifigures really catch my eyes too, with the fake Avengers. There's such a weird design that really stands out. And of course, you get the same Spidey as Beware the Vulture. Well dang, I wish it was a new suit design, but it is the cheapest way to get that minifigure. Look, Fun in the Park topped my Summer 2016 list, so it's no surprise that Fun at the Beach would top this list. This is another great LEGO City set, and hits much of the points in the park did. 40 bucks, great new prints, but this one also has a return of the dual molded short legs, and even dual molded regular legs for swimsuits. Those are extremely useful. Alright look, I would have liked some new hair colors, but at least there's some great newer pieces from 2017 appearing in here, like the lobster and kayak. I also love the inclusion of the dolphin, Dalmatian, and the boombox. This one doesn't have too many substantial builds, but I mean the ones included are alright and don't appear in too many other sets, like the hammock, sandcastle, and volleyball net. Either way, for 40 bucks, not only does this set include so many interesting new pieces and designs for my favorite part of LEGO, the minifigures, but some solid scenaric builds, and that's why it's my most wanted LEGO set with an official release of June and July. What are some of your favorites? Leave your choices in the comments below. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.